July 24th, IWE returns to Houghton Lake with the hottest event of the summer, a Houghton Lake Heat Wave. The action will all go down at our home in the Artesia Youth Park, 1800 South Boxley Road in Houghton Lake, Michigan. Tickets are only $5, with kids under 10 receiving free admission, with proceeds going toward the youth center. You can't beat the heat at IWE Houghton Lake Heat Wave. This is President Rick Green, and I want to see you July 24th. And as we've announced, we have TV5 in the house. And now I'd like to ask Mr. John Parker to join me in the ring. As he's got a few things to say to you guys regarding TV5 and IWE. Trevor Strahd, the natural born killer. Seems to be having a problem here. This is a, this is just to put the mic down. Okay, okay. This is the partnership, maybe. We'll talk about it. Oh. That is not an ivory gladiator. That is a TV spokesman. Oh, no. And Trevor Star does not want to be done.
does not love candy? Everybody loves Frankenbucket, and everybody loves candy. How could you go wrong with the creature feature? Centuries are running, Well, did you see what he did to my man from Channel 5? Absolutely. <laughs> Conversation with Frank and Bucket. Uh, uh, he's very insightful. You, you should try it sometime. I gather as much watching John Campbell uh, listen to him, though I haven't heard anything myself. John Campbell asking for the mic. Is this wise, John? Some enthusiasm there. Yeah, absolutely. Tom was ready. I think she wants striking bucket. Trevor Stroud, not impressed. Strong contender there.
Does make sense. This is a wrestling ring. Touche. Again. 
Which one of them is going to break first? Is it going to be Trevor Stroud? It's going to be Trevor Stroud. Trevor Stroud into the corner where they have to break the hold again. It's just like a rope break. Did Trevor Stroud just go for the eyes? Did he go for, I couldn't tell from here. Did he go for the eyes? And I'll throw him John Campbell outside the ring. This is, I, I, I think John's eyes went for Trevor's fingers personally. Yeah, that could be wrong. This is definitely not in the bounds of a classic wrestling match anymore. And I saw, I, I, I wonder how long he was going to take. And it didn't take long, did it? No, I didn't, but John Campbell got a lot to get underneath Trevor Stroud's skin. And Trevor Stroud may now be looking to make John Campbell pay for it. And the crowd is letting Trevor Stroud have it. He's on checking out his first week, not only on John Campbell, but on each individual old fan that John Campbell got to throw to outside the ring before this match got underway. And now John Campbell resisting being thrown into the side of the ring. Trevor Stroud's head bounced off the ring apron. And John Campbell breaking the referee's count. Uh, what? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, John. He cleared out a second. Hey, John Campbell just cleared out an entire section of the audience here so that he could uh, put Trevor Stroud. Coming, John Campbell. Classical wrestling just went out the window quite a while ago. The entire section of the uh, chair section has been decimated by John Campbell taking out Trevor Stroud. Right in front of the fans, right in front of the COVID testing area we got up on the side here. They may not have to go back to the room. Get back to the room here. John Campbell finally getting Trevor Stroud back into the ring. And he backs himself, Trevor Stroud backs himself into a corner, asking for some reprieve, asking for a timeout. John Campbell, seemingly willing to give him at least a couple seconds for reprieve before continuing the assault. And here he comes, Mono stopping into the corner. Puts Trevor Stroud back up, stick, headbutt. Gotta get him out of the corner though. Here comes with the cross. Grab his buckle. Trevor Stroud's reeling. Kevin wants to hear IWE's faithful. Here he goes. Hand into the audience. Give him a cross. Oh, big clothesline. The Sean Campbell setting Trevor Stroud up for now. Could be a suplex. Could it be? But keep the hold of him, bringing him back up. They're gonna do maybe more damage. Hey, what's a nice sweep. Trevor Stroud has nowhere to go. Pulls his arms back. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. Power strangle hold. I don't know what you call that. It looks like a pretzel from Hot Sang right now. Holy cow. And that is a dated reference. Yeah. He's got his left, left leg hooked with his left leg, got his right arm pulled back. His other leg wraps around Trevor Stroud's head. This is, and is slapping the bare abdomen. Ah. Trevor Shaw is looking for any way out of this. But Kevin, let's go. Only to pull it up into a cruise next pick, but find the two count. Trevor Shaw kicks out. It's been all John Campbell early, but I gotta think Trevor Shaw still got something up his sleeve. Maybe, and there, there might be the first cut play out of his hand. We chip it. We drop kick now, putting John Campbell down. John Campbell, I'm not sure 
I know the fans love the uh, John Panther and the River Cable and the fans and pandering to the fans are not paying attention to the opponent in the ring. And Triple Sean pretending that he does not care anymore what the fans say, and maybe he doesn't. Picking apart now with what's left to John Campbell after that fiery comeback. Stumps and swallow the back. Now Campbell's in the ropes. Stay off his butt and stay off the mat. And now Trevor Sean using that to his advantage, dragging his knee and all of his weight right into the top and between the shoulder blades of John Campbell. Trevor Sean taking his time. The natural born killer is back on the hunt. Very sadistic in his actions. Goes in with the slow and uh, right, as long as John Catbell is still in IWE and not yet retired, Trevor Straw still has work to do. And that's what we see him doing now. This methodical stiff stops into the upper chest of John Catbell. Look great. Now multiple now he's digging, digging his foot in. If we're trying to break this up, John Campbell is in the ropes. That is an illegal move. As long as it keeps being applied. It's one of those things where, you know, you have a plan until you get punched in the face. And the whole, uh, it's old classic wrestling match is obviously thrown out the bed with Trevor's legs. Rips him up. Well, it's like the clothesline, though. Campbell gets a back up for his shoulder. Up for his himself. Trevor Stride has knocked the John Campbell down. With a big senton splash as well. Into the pin cover. One, two. Campbell gets the shoulder up. Wasn't a lot of force in that pin cover. Campbell was able to roll over. So now using the referee to get back up to his feet and getting into his face now. Trevor Stark clearly lost the three, but he's got to focus on John Campbell to get the three, not the referee. And John Stern in the background here, the feature feature, getting to his feet. But I think this is all cerebral, it's all strategic by Trevor Stark. He's just statistic and slow, but it, there's a mind game in there. Big counter into a DDT from John Campbell. Trevor Stark is down. But John Campbell did not pop right back up to his feet after that. It took him everything he had to deliver that. That is a nasty shot. Who could have been feet first is going to be you. Everybody's just thinking about it now. Uh-oh, what do we have here? What's going on here? Bella Starr and the rest of Goodman Detective Agency. Bojack still carrying that stolen Gladiators Championship. What is what, this all about? What are they doing out here? We're up to a count of six in this ten count. It's worth noting that they had recently hired Trevor Strahd to do some damage to Tyler Dean. Perhaps they still have some vested interest in Trevor Strahd. We're up to a count of nine. Trevor Strahd rolls over to a pin on the handout. But Campbell kicks out at two. Well, at least the time down was all Campbell needed. It was just barely enough. Now both men working their way back to, to their feet. Up on knees now. Some game planning in the corner here. Looks like. And Trevor Strong. And coming Campbell. Oh, right straight into a big boot from Trevor Strong. He's back down again. Campbell has not been. Trevor's got him right where he wants him though. He needs to stay on top of him. There you go. But what has the detective agency got planned out here? They're out here supporting their buddy. Can't they just come out here and support their, 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 their pal? Come on. Never strong. Just in the middle. Just in the corner. corner. Up this first step. Big, big elbow attack to John Campbell. And into the pin cover. One, two. But no, John Campbell kicks out. Not enough weight applied to John Campbell's shoulders. He's able to roll over and get the shoulder up. Trevor Stroud hooked the leg, but didn't apply enough pressure to the shoulders. I really worry about what Goodman Detective Agency has planned being out here at ringside. Trevor Stroud once again getting into the face of referee Cody over here. Tell him to do the smart thing and get the three count. 
Get a shot now. Let's get it. get back to his feet. He's lining up. Maybe for that discus elbow. Like I said, the Goodman Detective Agency, they, they, they enlisted some help from Trevor Starr. I'll hear some more of the guys. back up to his feet. Ah. Here he comes. Nope, oh, throws the elbow. But no. Big Truman suplex. And here Cameron's out. He puts it back up. Tries another. Got the two. Two German suplexes. He's still holding on. John Kevin still has Trevor Starr. Move for a third. Does John Campbell still have a hold? He's got a pitbull like grip on his waist. I can't believe it. He's got a pitbull like grip. Come on again. A four. Four German suplexes. And I've got a star. He's about the amber. And there's all the attention the referee. Or maybe the chance to get out of He's going for it. Pitbull. But Bojack struck him in the back of the head with the championship. And that will turn him over for the pin. And sure, now Bella gets back down. One, two, three. With the help of Bojack and that championship belt. Tyler Dean's championship belt. Together, the Goodman Detective Agency have defeated John Campbell. Trevor Strong wins. You see a new alliance here? I mean, is he a permanent fixture for the Goodman Detective Agency? What, what am I seeing here? And Trevor Strong directed traffic for Bojack to continue the assault on the creature feature. Heck of a turn of events here. That's not what this is supposed to be about. That's not what the Goodman Detectives Agency does. But the agency now turning on the former leader. He's he's no longer receiving dividends. Oh no! Oh no! Big hard side of the suplex. Absolute devastation by the Goodman Detective Agency to Mike Goodman. Bella Star firmly calling the shots now. Mike Gubbin may, may be hurt. He came down on his arm hard. He could be hurt. This is sickening. Mike Goodman has been effectively removed from his own, his own fans. He let, what does this mean going forward for the Goodman Detective Agency? These fans are not giving Bellstar any opportunity to explain herself. Sickening. Well, Sardis said we're done. Whatever agreement they may have had with Mike Goodman is long since over. And they'll shut Big muscle. For Mike Goodman's former detective agency now under Bella Star's control. If there's anything left of Mike Goodman, they're about to destroy him. Here comes Tyler Dean! 
chair in hand. Are they coming to Mike Goodman's aid? As well as John Campbell. The group of the Tiger Davis, he stands tall. Well, thank goodness the Goodman Detective Agency is leaving. But what have they done? They left Mike Goodman, their namesake, the originator, the founder. They left him broken in the ring. And Mike Goodman has not moved. Mike Goodman has not moved. Tyler Dean seems very concerned for Mike Goodman just now, asking for referees and officials and help. See what's going on. Okay. Real. Oh my goodness, then. We're going to make a joke right now. They brought up, like, they are carrying my good and on a stretcher. I haven't seen that needing to be used in a long time. Certainly not here in IWE. So that's.
just maybe Connor Dean will be able to get a hold of his Gladiator year championship back from Boche. Saturday night, July 24th, IWE returns to Houghton Lake with the hottest event of the summer, a Houghton Lake Heat Wave. The action will all go down at our home in the Artesia Youth Park, 1800 South Boxley Road in Houghton Lake, Michigan. Tickets are only $5, with kids under 10 receiving free admission, with proceeds going toward the Youth Center. You can't beat the heat at IWE Houghton Lake Heat Wave. This is President Rick Green, and I want to see you July 24th. Some say champions are born, but we believe champions are forged in the fire of competition. I think you need a championship for in the ring or out. J. Dub Bells makes custom handmade championships for all occasions. Customer-friendly belt levels allow Jade Down Belts to provide quality products for any budget. For more information about us, our leather products, or to order your very own custom-made championship belt, log on to www.jdubbelts.com. Oh, yeah. 
guys have left much in the way of tag teams. They're nine of the week. They're taking out the Dean Boys. We haven't seen Tyson Dean since all about them, baby. They might have beat us last time. Russell it's a fluke. We are the real IWE champions.
once again, just smarter, smarter wrestling. What did you say, Cody? Cody Lee and Rocky Shock, just cerebral assassins. Nick Baker and the. Nick Baker now tags himself in. He's leading. Continuing the workout, Roberto Cruz started hammering away on that leg. Great stretch. Keep the high flying ground. I can't argue with it, and I can't argue with the results. Invariably, this could be Cody Lee's undoing. They pick it rip, roofing on that leg, torquing on the knee. That, Cody Lee trying his hardest not to tap out. I mean, that's putting the uh, stress on the ACL, the ACL. Yeah. Yeah. This is how it is. He's a tiger of Cruz now. He does it for the pins number one, two. But Cody Lee kicks out with not very much energy. Can't use that leg to kick out anymore. Gonna muscle his shoulder up the hard way. Oh no. Oh no. Or who's pulling Brooke Lee up, but he's standing on his hair. Oh, 
Brian Germans that Cody Lee is out, but no, Cody Lee is getting back to his feet on his own power. He's fighting his way out. He's free. And I was looking for him to go. Smart, smart, smart. Got to stand on Cody Lee back up now. Trying to maintain the control. He's trying to get Cody Lee any chance to get control of his own power. July 24th, IWE returns to Houghton Lake with the hottest event of the summer, a Houghton Lake Heat Wave. The action will all go down at our home in the Artesia Youth Park, 1800 South Boxley Road in Houghton Lake, Michigan. Tickets are only $5, with kids under 10 receiving free admission, with proceeds going toward the youth center. You can't beat the heat at IWE Houghton Lake Heat Wave. This is President Rick Green, and I want to see you July 24th. Period. Wrestling. 